Hey guys, again here at Philipman Digital. And in this video, we are going to be creating direct download links in Webflow. Now, we are going to do this using two methods. First being for static pages and the second one being for dynamic pages, meaning CMS based. Now, keep in mind, you do need to host your files externally. So if you're using Webflow to host some of those files, it might not work. Ideally, you would want to host your files in Amazon or Google Drive. For this specific tutorial, I will be using Google Drive just because we are using Google Workspace and that is the easiest way and the easiest place to get this set up. So now we are in Google Drive, we are in tutorials folder and straight off the bat, I can say that you will want to make sure that this whole folder is shareable meaning that you will want to change access from restricted to anyone with the link we are doing that so that when you add specific files to that folder you don't have to change the settings of each individual file you'll be able to grab the link and immediately go into webflow and add the link i'm going to immediately add it to embed and I'll show you why in a minute. When you're creating this link, this will not really work off the bat. I just want to show you what the anatomy of this URL is. We have the domain. We are mentioning that this is five file within the folder, the ID of the file, and then we are viewing this. Now, we are going to want to actually remove this part with view. And also, we will want to remove everything that comes right after the first slash and right before the file ID. We are then going to go into our article where we talk about the topic. And we are going to scroll right after this image where we talk about step two, generate the down direct download link. And we copy this bit. You see question mark, export and download. We're going to go back to Webflow and we will enter this right in between the first slash and the file ID. Awesome. We're just going to copy this and add it right into the link. We want to make sure that the link is opening in the new tab and in this way, we have now made sure that we have a downloadable link. You can preview this in the preview mode, but you can also go into this specific website and see that this is working well. You'll see in a second that we have downloaded the file. If you are trying to set this up in a way where this work with CMS pages, you will want to Im immediately copy this link as a whole element. There we go, we have copied this element and we are going to go into the CMS page where we want this link to exist. We're going to add an embed element and we will add this whole button element in there. One thing to mention is that we have end transformed into this character or this letter, whatever. So what we want is we want this, but we now after copying get this. This is no good. So we are going to delete that. And we are going to have a connection between end and ID. Lastly, we are going to want to connect this file ID to a CMS item, right? A text element within the CMS item. So inside the CMS, we have the field called file ID. That's exactly what we want to connect to this uh, ID field, right? And there we go, we have the file ID. Now, if we preview this, you'll be able to see that this button works just well. And if you click on it, we are going to get the active grotesque, the font downloaded right here 
And yes, this is basically the way that you set up your direct download links in Webflow. I hope that you like this video, hope that it was helpful and that you can actually recreate this yourself. If you do have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. But if you did like this video and if everything makes sense, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I wish you a lovely day. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.